Hello, my four-year-old daughter wishes to know... What is a number before infinity? Can you advise on a mathematically reasonable answer that I could explain to a four-year-old? Thanks, Ellie. Wow, where do you start? This calls for mathematical royalty. Who better to explain it than the man who inspired my childhood interest in mathematics, TV's Johnny Ball. What is the number before infinity? That would be the biggest number of all. And you can't have a biggest number of all, because if you had the biggest number of all and added one to it, it would be a bigger number still. So how can I explain it? I've got some sweets here, and these sweets come in a bag, and you could easily count the number of sweets in a bag, couldn't you? Right? So that's... A finite number of sweets in the bag, and that's the strange word, finite. It means you can count it. If you wanted to count all the sweets in the world, do you think we could do it? No, it'd be difficult, because people are eating them all the time, so the number changes, and factories are making them all the time. So sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. But if you stopped everybody, and said, stop, don't really make any more and don't eat any more, it would be possible... If everybody in the world agreed to help, it would be possible for us to count all the sweets in the world because there's a certain number. We don't know what the number is, but it's possible to count. But infinity is a number you can't count. OK, so what does Claudia think is the biggest number? I think what 100 or a million. <laughs> Are big numbers, but they're nowhere near infinity. In fact, Claudia, I'm going to give you some sweets. You've got some sweets, and I've got more sweets, because they're my (laughs) sweets. But you've got some more now. No, they're not that many. All right. You start counting yours. One, two... Right. Three... That's very good. Four, five, six, seven... And... Eight. Have you got any more? No. But if I gave you another one, that would be... How many is that? Nine. Nine. You'd have nine sweets. Right. You asked, what is the number before infinity? Well, as infinity goes on forever, you can't have the number before infinity because whatever that number is, however big it is, if you added one more, you'd have another number that's bigger. So you can't have the number before infinity. It goes on forever. Brilliant. But it's not just children who struggle with the concept of infinity. Virtually everything we talk about is finite. The number of molecules of air in the atmosphere is finite. They could be counted. There's a a number you can't go beyond. But infinity goes beyond that, you know. If you have a square, it's got four sides, and it will fit into a circle. If you have a hexagon that fits into a circle, it's six sides and it still fits in the circle. If you have an octagon with eight sides that fits into a circle, all well and good. How far can you go? Many sides can you have to a figure that will still fit in a circle? Well, the definition of a circle is an infinite number of points, a set distance from a central point that together make up that circle. 